let's go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm so nervous. Let's play. All right, the first track here is called "If You Can Hear Me," and this is uh, this is really uh, kind of sets the sets the tone here as uh, you're you're about to hear a story, and this is kind of an overview, almost like an overture of the album, uh, lyrically speaking, where where the themes are going to be uh, gratefulness and uh, and praise and and grace and God's mercy and these uh, these things. Ken, what what do you uh, what do you think of this song? Yeah, well, what I like about this song is it states right from the very beginning of the project that um, this is who I am, this is who Brandon is, mm -hmm. and unadulterated, flat out believer in Jesus Christ, and you get a taste of what this album is going to be sharing with everybody. Mm -hmm. And so, I just love that. I love that about you, uh, that uh, we can just declare without being ashamed yeah. who we are in Christ, yeah. and uh, use all the creative elements to develop that and share that with others. Yeah. That's really neat. It's not kind of brings the end to the album. It doesn't like smack in the face. It just kind of builds. And as the background vocals come in, as the strings come in, it's just really gentle. But Christina Clifford's first album. Yeah. And everything just kind of moves in. As you find the album ends, it begins and ends. Really like because you took my shame. Yeah. It's beautiful. Mm. We had a quartet, right? We don't have yeah. the full orchestra. We're still saving yeah. Yeah, a lot, and it's and it's personal. I like, I love, like, I'm gonna tell my story, and it's all, it's personal. People just join you, and it's that's why I love. This quartet is some of our players from our St. Andrews Orchestra that came into the studio one day to, to do it. Yeah. This is a great, great idea using some songs with the, with the quartet and using some of the orchestra. Yeah. Like, like Tiago said, we're saving it. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was pretty really cool. Um, what I like about this song is that it's really dead uh, down in comparison to the other ones. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I remember when, when you first uh, showed this song to us was on, on a guitar and we had this idea of recording it with a baritone guitar, remember that? Yeah. And uh, we tried it, it felt good, but it's, an, it's still not this quite the tone that we want for the song. But it was, it was really cool. And uh, the string quarter gave like, a life to the song. Yeah. Uh, for me, one line that uh, has taken on a new meaning for me recently. Yeah, uh, since since I got engaged and getting you know, married in like 20, 22 days, yeah, 20, I know that. 22 days. Like, oh yeah, crazy! <laughs> I, I'm so excited. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so um, this the the line that says, "I got to tell you that I love him because he's given me his name." We've all received. We've, the name Jesus Christ with, with his, his sacrifice his death we we were now covered in the in the blood and covered by the name of Jesus and uh, I now that I'm preparing to uh, give my last name to, uh, to to someone that it's it's so interesting that this this notion of I love this person so much that I want to give from the world and I don't know how to so I'm just gonna give you my name I'm going to give you my identity. I'm going to give you my person, and and so that that's kind of been uh, my new expression of the song.